Hey, how's it going? I'm Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to create procedural water puddles or just wet spots or little pools on the ground of any material and how to quickly create that and basically make yourself an easy puddle material that you can throw on any floor uh, and quickly add nice cool wet reflections. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so this is kind of what we'll be creating. Uh, let's just go ahead and delete our materials to start off. We've just basically got a little three point light set up. I've got a dome light out of it because I don't want to, to worry about looking at the background and stuff like that. And it just looks a little more moody, right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and start off. Uh, what I would say is if you do have like something like Kit Bash Cargo or something, uh, they've got a lot of cool roads and stuff on there that work really well and cool floors and stuff that you could just drag and drop. A lot of people forget that cargo has just materials and they think it's just buildings and stuff. Um, hashtag ad. No, they don't sponsor me or anything, but I do have an affiliate link and I think cargo is just really cool. Uh, another great place to get a cool road texture is the substance3d.adobe.com slash community assets, which is just basically uh, free to use assets that people have created on Substance. I have a video on this. Uh, there's a cool road substance here, but you can just basically drag and drop in Substance materials into Redshift now, which is really cool. So check out the video on that. But let's go ahead and talk about just creating this cool uh, puddle. So first things first is let's just open up the asset browser and grab something that everybody has access to. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to materials. And we'll look at something like in the stone section, there's asphalt dry. Cool. Let's grab that and throw it on our scene. And we can go ahead and close that out. And we'll double click this. It's a nice, simple material. It's not one of the crazy ones with all kinds of nodes. Uh, but basically, let's just take a look. You can see it's way too big on our floor. So we're going to come in here and just tile it. And again, all this is is a plane 4,000 by 4,000 with 100 by 100 segments. Nothing fancy. Okay. Cool. So now that we've tiled it 10 times, you can see it actually looks pretty good. Uh, it is dry. It still looks kind of wet. But uh, the cool thing with these materials is once you figure out how to, you know, adjust materials and things like that, you can kind of just read these very easily. Uh, this is a texture and it's plugged into a ramp and this is controlling the wetness and roughness value. So if you want it to be more wet and make it more shiny, you just need to grab these ramp points and just make them a little darker. So we'll grab that one and pull it down and grab this one and pull it down as well. And now we'll have a wetter floor. Cool. Easy peasy. But we still have no puddles. So let's go ahead and talk about how to create that. Uh, double click. Uh, we'll just click our little material here that we sh set up. And I'll show you how to set this up in the Mind in Motion workshop. Uh, link to that below. Super awesome. Uh, people are loving it. I've been very excited to get to know everybody and uh, get to know you guys as you journey along uh, and learn your 3D stuff. All right, so C40 and Redshift Workshop, check it out. Uh, so basically, the way this works is what we're going to do is grab this material and drag and drop it on our plane. So you can see I've got all of my favorite things set up and plugged in as we go, but you can just follow along and create your new material. No big deal. All right, so what we're going to do is grab this Maxon Noise, plug it into a ramp, and go into the Alt Input, just because I like to use ramps to control clamping. It's just easy that way. All right, so what we want to do is solo this, so we only see that on the floor. And because we're using Maxon Noise in 2024, we basically need to scale this like crazy high, 100 times more than you used to. So we're going to go with 1,500, and we get these nice big puddly puddles. They look all right. But we're going to switch this to something more like turbulence. Okay. We're starting to get there. Uh, we're going to go down here to the output and clamp up those low clips just to give us a little more dynamic range. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to grab our ramp and we're going to slide it down, which is just going to boost our white, right? Because we just want our white to be boosted a little bit because you can kind of tell what's going on here. We'll bring up the blacks a bit, but basically everywhere that's going to be white is going to be our puddle. Everywhere that's black, it's going to just not be there because what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and plug it into the opacity. Boom. Okay. Neat. So now we need to just make this look like a shiny wet material. So let's just go ahead and unsolo that. And all we're going to do is go to our metalist value, crank it up to one, go to our roughness, go to like 0.01 and our IOR, turn it up to like two. And yes, it's really more like chrome than water, but it gives us the effect we want. You obviously can do whatever you want. Okay, so now all we got to do is put our asphalt back on here, tile it 10 to 10, good. And now we just grab our puddle that we just created and throw it on top. And voila, instant puddles on top of our scene. So we can come in here and I think it really helps to kind of clamp this down just to kind of give us those harder edges. And we can feather it just a smidge here. That's a technical term, a smidge. But there you go. We have these nice 
puddles built into our scene and you can come in here change the seed change the noise type and get completely different procedural puddles very cool now you may think okay well that's really cool for this one scene but what if i want to put it on a road that's like stretched out really far well i've done that and i have some tips for you on some tricks to make that look even better right okay so we've got this road it is just a road a uh, square in a cloner that's stretched out so the road loops really nice it's the kit bash material and you can see that our noise actually looks really nice too and it's just kind of stretched out uh it looks good we've got puddles all the way across our road no big deal my lighting and stuff in the scene isn't fantastic but it just kind of helps show the puddles right uh cool so you know what's the big deal uh so basically what the thing you need to keep in mind is is in your input source for your noise, it's very important. If you're tiling something like that, uh, if you leave it at the default of object, you're gonna see these weird tiles, right? You're gonna see it repeat, repeat. You can maybe even sometimes see the edges if you have stuff like scaled uh, to stretch like I do, and you get just a repeat tile and it's very obvious that you're just scaling the same tile over and over again. But you change that noise pattern because it's on top of the road and its own layer, you can actually just change it to world and now you have a completely real procedural non-repeating noise that you can tweak and change on top of that. So you can adjust that and you can see it's just not going to repeat. It'll just go across the scene. You can scale it up, whatever you want to do, change the seed, all that stuff. There you go. So tips and tricks on how to make a puddle. Hopefully you like that. This is kind of a quick tutorial, but it's one that I get asked a lot uh, in the Discord. So be sure to join that. Um, but a very easy, cool effect, especially if you have something better than like a shader ball to throw on there, like a cool Lamborghini or something. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, pretty cool. So if you like that kind of stuff, if you like these quick tutorials, let me know in the description and the comments below. I mean, and uh, be sure to check out the Mind in Motion workshop. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. See you next time.